All right, so part two of these bad boys. We got some mountain brackets done up for those bad boys. All right, so remember we got those cells the other day and uh, we need to figure out how we can clamp them up real good. So Michael came up with this little method here. Yeah. It's got uh, two just aluminum cut pieces with uh, M3 holes and M3 nuts and bolts. And uh, pretty much it just applies a clamping force onto these tabs here, just like that. And there you go. So you take two of these per connection. Technically nothing we're doing is recommended at home. Yeah, no, please don't do this at home. But uh, got these parts machined by a buddy, you know, you know not, not too bad, they're, they're pretty shiny. It's a nice aluminum. And yeah, you just take two of those, clamp them together, some nuts and bolts, and well, bam big power. A little bus bar type situation here. Pretty nifty. Clamping force, when you tighten down the M3, is definitely enough to hold this on. Um, and it's aluminum, so it's conductive, even though <laughs> yeah, yeah, not crazy. Um, yeah, should be pretty solid. So we'll see how it plays out on all those bad boys. I'll let you guys know. Should be fun though. Pretty interesting. to see if we can braise these right here with this brazing rod from Harbor Freight. This is aluminum, it's 2024, I believe. 2024, yeah. So if we can braise to that and then get the the negative connector on there properly, then that'll be a pretty nice connection. Going in the middle. Uh, yeah. That is solid. I'm with it. Yeah. All right, cool. Raising material and solder are compatible under torch. <laughs> so <laughs> we timmed the wire first. With regular solder. With normal solder and then aluminum brazing rod. Got that lead on there. Nice. All right, so we're gonna do the next two leads here. Onto the next one, put that aside. There we go. Let's melt just right, and then you swoop in and help your buddy out because that thing is hot. So that is how we do our clamping on them bad boys with another plate on the back side, nut and bolt, just like we did in between every cell on there. And yeah. Boom, easy. We'll let these cool down and then we'll put them on the packs. So we've got one success pack done here without the balance, and then we've got one done up with the balance leads on it. What we've done here is stuck a charger in between so we can uh, test the discharge and test the charge just a little bit to see what, what, what it does here. So this is how the cells were sitting on this pack here once we've got it all wired up. Not bad, you know, good for transport. 
So we're gonna go ahead and try to push four amps to it and just have a look. I'm saying you gotta crank it, bro. Do, just do 10. <laughs> no, 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 start it easy. We're gonna start with four and then we can gradually pump it up. This bad boy needs balance, so we add balance to this boy. And then tidy this one up a little bit. And then give her a nice deep cycle through the day when we're all awake. <laughs> yeah. Safety, battery safety. And then we'll uh, show you guys what we're working with after. Okay, that's pretty good. For a dead cell, that's pretty good. That's pretty tight. These, these are like empty. Yeah, yeah, but that, that's pretty tight. Yeah, they're all in the same range. It means they're all good cells too, which I'm just a little curious about. <laughs> Charger says she's eating, so she's eating. <laughs> well, I think we're getting ready to wrap up for the night, so. So uh, we'll, we'll go to sleep and we'll wake up in the morning, see how this is doing. <laughs> <laughs> He's joking. <laughs> Battery safety, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Battery safety. This will go off before anyone goes to bed. Yeah, but uh, yeah, catch you guys later. Hope you enjoyed the show.